On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what uh, go on? A blessed and wonderful Sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps, uh, to the name uh, Sunday the day when uh, some of the ones and ones them out there traverse the church. So whilst uh, doing so, my peeps, uh, please remember on the Spot News Media, it's loyal view viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. You definitely see how Jamaica run right and all my peeps. So you know for sure. So we need that now more than ever. And this man and my peeps, I don't know say are the official red rice and rooster day. So to all of the regular ones and ones them out there in the kitchen I deal with the finger licking chicken or whatsoever the meat kind may be. Blessings upon this blessed and wonderful Sunday. And to all of the regular members of Chan Public out there traversing these streets from Moran Point to Negril Point. As always, my peeps, safe travel, pandy gravel, and continuously look out on the corner, yai Kaswa. The old dirty corner boy, them. Always out there. Alerts. Yeah, man. So watch this now, my peeps, in the morning here, we're gonna kick it off over there in the troubled, war torn, crime riddled West Milan Police Division. We're on Wednesday, February 28th. A brazen knockings and clappings took place in the wee hours of the morning, just a little bit over 12 midnight approaching 1 a.m., where seven persons get caught up and three fatally so. Two of the three are known and noted criminal elements. Some old dirty kind of boy. Yeah, man. The other man is an innocent bystander. Really, really sad where that one is concerned. Now, I covered the story briefly a few days ago and promised to go and do some digging and get back to you as it relates to the two criminal elements that lost their lives. So this morning, other morning there we are, we are going to cover this thing here extensively. So now my peeps, we are going to talk about the deceased men. And as I stated earlier, only one of the three is considered to be innocent. So we are going to start off with the innocent bystander. Presently on your screen is Everal Rowe, said to be a shop owner and a broom maker. He is also from the Froome community of West Milan. This next brother I present on your screen is a known and noted criminal element identified as Kemar Smith, otherwise known as Beanie Bud. It is said that he is from the Gullibank community in Savannah Lamar. The third man will end up losing three pints. Is a noted criminal element, a scammer, yeah man, a financial ebla to the gangs in West Milan. He has since been identified as Andre McDonald. He is said to be known as shit gut in the streets. He is also from the Gullibank community in Savannah Lamar. Four other persons who were said to be patrons at the Pixidus bar, also get can up and one seriously injured. They are as follows. A 26-year-old female, a 23-year-old female, a 27-year-old male, and also a 48-year-old male. Also stained injuries from that brazen and brutal 
knockings and clappings. So now my peeps, I could start it off with the scammer. Now the scammer is presently on your screen. He has since been identified as Andre McDonald and also has another rather interesting name in the criminal underworld. He's known as Shitgut. Yeah man. Now Shitgut was the scammer. The man with the money, the financer, the financial enabler for the criminal organizations operating out of Gully Bank and Russia in Westmoreland. Now he was among the patrons where the criminal elements them come knock it and clap it pan. So he too is no longer among the land of the living. Now for the main man, the man who is deemed to be the target of that brutal attack is this criminal element here presently on your screen identified as Kemar Smith, otherwise known as Beanie Bud. Now, Kemar Smith, as you can see, this picture presently on your screen was taken behind bars. It is said that he was behind bars for taking the life of a female some time ago. He spent quite a long time behind bars for that knockings and clappings of the female. Now I'm not for sure if he got off the case or if he was out on bail. But one thing for sure, he was behind bars for quite some time for that brutal and fatal knockings and clappings of a female. Now this criminal element identified as Kemar Smith, a.k.a. Beanie Bud, is no stranger to the police of Westmoreland. Definitely no stranger to the criminal underworld and to some of you, the regular members of John Public out there. So of course you are definitely not surprised that Beanie Bud get caught up in such a fashion. In fact, it is said that just a few days before he lost his life, he committed several knockings and clappings and also one fatal knockings and clappings which of course sparked a reprisal hence he met his demise now let me take you back down memory lane for a little bit there who remember this criminal element here presently on your screen identified as viviana godfrey but more popularly known in the streets as clansman no not the clansman them from spanish town st catherine but this criminal element here is identified as Klansman, is alias in the criminal underworld. He was taken out in a hail of bullets during a foolish confrontation with Officer Yeman Pick and Team. Literally two or three days after he was aired on Underspot News Media channel. On the Spot News Media spoke to this criminal element here, extensively so. On the program to turn himself in before officer yeman pick and team is sent out to look for him he did not heed to the warning and of course he got the can in and i know the funny thing about his fatal knockings and clappings my peeps he was recently offered bail just a little before him get can up by the police them in St. Elizabeth. He was offered bail in the Westmoreland Parish Court for a knockings and clappings that has resulted in the loss of life of some people. So basically he was out on bail for a murder. Now I said all of that for say this, that the criminal element identified as a clansman used to run off Rona Russia and used to run off Rona Gullibach on behalf of Beanie Bug whilst he was behind bars for the knockings and clappings that took the life of Shireen. Yeah man. And he spent a lengthy time behind bars. Somewhere between three to four years. I'm not sure if he got off the case or him up on bail or whatsoever. Now as I stated earlier, his latest knockings and clappings that he carried out in the Gullibach area was of another 
criminal element identified as Lee Bud. So for those who remember that particular knockings and clappings, that is the particular knockings and clappings that sparked this ongoing gang war. Yeah, man. So now that the criminal element present on your screen is no longer among the land of the living. He has cronies who are hell-bent in taking revenge for his passing. Now we are going to name some of them other criminal elements there. This one presently on your screen identified as Mooney. Mooney is presently behind bars as we speak. Mooney is a known Nakis and Clappis. One of the main Nakis and Clappis in the G-Banks gang with Stanfe Gullibanks gang. He's presently behind bars because he went to our area in Westmoreland for to take a man life. Police got word of what he's planning and doing and intercepted him, which a shootout was ensued with the police. Him get caught up in another incident there. And luckily for him, he was taken in alive. So he's presently behind bars for that particular knockings and clappings. And it is said that he is behind bars using the means of a cell phone to make connections with his criminal counterparts on the ground and planning an active retaliation. Yeah, man. So, my peeps, this thing here are going to get really, really dark if the authorities don't put the necessary things in place to nip this thing here basically in the bud before it gets really, really murky. Now, there's another Nakis and Clappis, and presently on your screen, this is the person I'm speaking about. He's identified by his alias in the criminal underworld as Shatter. As you can see, this picture was taken whilst Shatter was behind bars. Shatter is also another known Nakis and Clappis for that of being a bug. It is said that Shatta, a trifle, make him way into the United States of America by means of hopping from small islands to small islands. It is said that he's presently in the island of Bahamas trying to gain entry into the United States of America. Now, he too is also mobilizing some young and upcoming Nakis and Clappis in the area to make sure that they carry out a reprisal for the loss of life of their criminal boss, being a bug. Now we have another criminal element. And this one should be feared more than just about anyone else. Because Shatter is not on the island. But that no make him have limited influence. The other one, known as Moon is presently behind bars. But this one presently on your screen identified as Oloman is presently underground. And he also have a brother that he's grooming into the same type of badness. In fact, his brother doesn't really need grooming. He's a known Nakisan Clappis as he has just returned from prison. Yeah, man. But the thing that makes his brother even more dangerous, most of the persons in and around the Gullibang community and its environs don't really know this brother personally. So they might just see him and think that he's just a regular importee in the place. So for those who is living in the Gulliban community, if you ever hear anybody address a criminal element by the name of Rata, Rata is the brother of this criminal element here 
identified as Oloman. Yeah, man. So Oloman is most definitely planning a reprisal, knockings and clappings. So persons living in and around the Golibang communities or any area that is feuding the criminals from those areas who is feuding with criminals from Golibang, please be on the lookout. Because all the criminal elements that have spoken about not too long ago, they are all contract knackis and clappies also. So most of the violent knackings and clappings that has claimed the life of many in and around the general Westmoreland and St. Elizabeth and also St. James Police Divisions is carried out by these criminal elements. As the criminal element identified as Beanie Bug was also a contracted knackis and clappies for the leader of the rebel side gang known as Buffo Rebel. So more time when I see some knockings and clappings go on in a St. James in a flanker in its environment and you know, I wonder who the brother there, where them man they come from, come dirt them people here. You would have never imagined that they were contracted knockings and clappies by the rebel gang leader himself known as Buffo or Baphomet Rebel. Yeah, man. Now, the last thing that I got to talk about, I will be speaking to the females who are said to be the spouses and also to the mothers of these criminal elements. We no need to stop support the slackness. You see, sometimes some females find themselves in a some knockings and clappings and People here say some of get dirt and I wonder why or because some of mix up in the hall of them say go on. I remember the knockings and clappings were go on in a mobile upon the local government election day where the police them clap with the criminal element known as Jolo. His mother and sister came on live and basically tell the whole world, say, yo, my son or my brother coming from the sister's mouth are the real deal and a police who have to use to fight him. So basically, my peeps, these mothers, these spouses, these sisters, these family members knows the character of these criminal elements and continue to pick up for them and support them in their dirty corner boy lifestyle. Now, I'm going to speak especially to the mother of the criminal element identified as Mooney. I'm not going to show you a picture and I'm not going to even call your name. But you know yourself and for those who know, know you need to stop support the slackness. Because if you continue to support the slackness of your son, you are going to reap the benefits of sin. I have warned many about the choices that they have made in life. To understand the fact that with your choices comes consequences. So if you're willing to live up to and face the consequences that comes with your actions, then please, by all means, continue. You remember two fly from over there in Mobile St. James? That female who was with the now incarcerated 41 Rosites, Bossed, Nakis and Clappis, known as J-Man, who I warned her for her actions, that her actions have consequences. She never heed to the warning and she get the canning. Now I will end this by saying a word to the wise. Yeah, man. Say so anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.